Welcome back to Flying Dutchman Cards. Today I have something a little bit different. So a couple months back I saw a video response contest by the Ticket Leprechaun and he was asking to see people's card rooms. The contest is long past but I thought it would still be fun to show you guys my card room slash office. So I've been working remotely for the last six and a half years and about four years ago realized that I needed a little bit more dedicated space. I built an eight foot by eight foot square room in my garage. While I was decorating that and looking for cool things to, to hang up, I stumbled across eBay, realized all my childhood dreams were on eBay now. And now that I could afford them, I started picking some of them up. That led me from pennants to patches to baseball cards. I wanna take you guys on a quick tour and show you off uh, what I've been collecting and where I collect. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Welcome to my office slash card room. So the first wall here, we got Jose Canseco pennant, got a Topps baseball tin as well as cool. I used to be a millionaire until my mom threw out my baseball cards, but she did not, which was awesome. Got this mini bat holder that I made for my mini mini bat collection. Got some signatures on a ball there from the Bellingham Mariners. A couple other balls there. And then have another kind of mini and full size bat holder that holds some balls um, that I built as well. And including a famous chicken autograph from, that was an in-person autograph when he came and visited the Bellingham Mariners in the early 90s. Another Canseco pennant. Then here on my bookshelf, I have some open boxes, um, but just the boxes there. Got a Mike Schmidt starting lineup uh, that my son Preston wants me to open very badly. And I have to tell him it's so much cooler in the package. I got some Legos, uh, the DeLorean from Back to the Future, and of course, Optimus Prime, as well as my favorite car of all time, the 1970 Datsun 240Z. So I got, actually got two of those. I'll show you the other one here in a minute. Then moving over to the bookshelf, have my Dinger card, Ken Griffey Jr. candy bar wrapper, and then some hats, including this World Series champion, Chicago Cubs, from 2016 that I got at Wrigley Field the day after they won. Just happened to be flying through, which is pretty cool. Got, got some autographs up there. Then this is including, uh, if you look in the back, I have about 60 to 65 books on baseball. So all kinds of fun ones in there. Um, so this is, I don't have them all out here, but that's mostly what this bookshelf is, is random baseball books. So I've got my relic collection and uh, some Ozzy Smith cards, including the legends, Nolan Ryan. And then this is another kind of little showcase uh, with some 89 tops. Got my Costco Brothers mini uh, postcards and some ticket stubs. I like collecting ticket stubs down there. Got my sports talk player. And then moving over here, this is the card storage shelf that I built. Um, so if you wanna check that out, you can check out that video, but that's where I store the majority of my cards and got my flipping, flipping upside down, Ozzy Smith, as long as my Kyle Seeger bobblehead. And then an Al Kaline Stadium Star in there. And there's the uh, Sports Talk player right there. So I just uh, reorganized this a little bit to give me some more card storage. This is kind of overflow card storage. Got some binders down there. These are all of my uh, TTM and autographs and, and a couple of random other cards too. But um, as you can see, I need to build another one of these to store the rest of my TTMs which is pretty fun. So I got some more card storage, printer, and then this is my TTM box. It looks like a mess, but it's got all my envelopes and stamps and pens and those kinds of stamps, all kinds of things, card, card sleeves, those types of things there. Got my uh, stadium cutout from T-Mobile Park from last year. And then I have this cool stadium poster that my brother don't talk to robots, got me. Um, has the history of stadiums throughout the year and the kind of different uh, eras that there were. This is uh, uh, something that from where my grandparents worked, they got this kind of plaque thing that when they retired and then a little Washington Anderson family crest. That's my mother's maiden name. 
Another World Series poster that my brother got me, which is pretty awesome. Shows a kind of infographic there. And then an Outfield of Dreams, Pittsburgh Pirates. So kind of spinning around here. Another cool part of this that I really like is this is actually the closet door from my childhood, the house that I grew up in. And this is where we would mark our heights. So if you don't know, I might be very, very tall. So this is me up here, um, 1998. This is up at the door, um, off the door. <laughs> so uh, as you can see here, I, I like to play a fun game when people come over, have them uh, you know, line up where they're at and then uh, I'll tell them I was that height at this age kind of thing. Kind of a cool thing there. And then we'll go up here, have a border of license plates along with some more caricature pennants. So got the Griffey, Bo Jackson, Eric Davis, Griffey family. Got some sweet uh, 1976 Michigan uh, license plate, which is pretty cool. So those go all the way around that side of the room because you know once you collect one thing, you might as well collect everything. Artwork of Fenway Park. This is a shadow box that I actually built Basically found on eBay, I was I was looking for and found a bunch of these uh, character pe pennant and then I stumbled across these cool patches. Uh, this is like a like a send in for in the 70s. And so they're all kind of old, old school 70s logos there. Got some sweet Bellingham stickers. One of my buddies actually makes uh, these ones. So if you want to check those out and get a Bellingham sticker, you can do that. Got my uh, Andres Thomas rack pack collection got a, a random stormtrooper some legos and some unopened packs and then have my mini caricature pennant display there another dotson 240z this is my preferred color of orange and then got some bobbleheads here including some 1989 tops double headers so Shows the 1989 tops on here and then a rookie card on the back, which is kind of cool. So I've got a Seattle Pilots, Edgar Martinez, Joe Tinker of the Washington Federals, and then Dinger, the hamster, the Bell and Hamster. Got some more kind of uh, jumbo size patches. 1989 World Series one fell down there. Back here, got a Nolan Ryan and Ozzy Smith pennant as well. So fun to collect those. And then moving here, this is the brain center of the operation. So this is my office as well. So uh, this is where I sit each day and make it all happen. Behind, got some cards lined up here and then some stadium stars. So I've got my couple 89 tops, got a, my Ozzy autograph, um, Ozzy rookie card. And then got Griffey, Hank Aaron, Mickey Mantle, Kirby Puckett, Nolan Ryan, Frank Thomas, and Barry Bonds. Got my fantasy baseball trophy there, which is pretty awesome. And then a Kenji Jojima bobblehead as well. And then some more 89 tops here. So gotta, you know, gotta keep the 89 tops accessible so I can see them throughout the day. Oh, and then the last thing. Um, so I am in the garage. Kind of how this is set up is there, there's a bump out from the garage door. And I made this collage of all cards from 1989. That was my first year collecting. Don't worry, all these are doubles. So I didn't use any, you know, any ones that I didn't have. You know, obviously these are all junk, junk wax era ones, but got an Aussie. So just kind of, you know, favorite players and uh, cards that I thought were pretty cool. I, I couldn't get myself to actually Mod Podge these on to this uh, piece of wood. So my wife did it, but I, I uh, carefully collated them so that they have kind of a pattern there. Most Mostly kept the pattern, but I couldn't get myself to actually, actually put them on there. So anyway, so there you go. That is the tour of my card room. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, let me know what, what your favorite part was. Um, what do you think was cool? Yeah, any questions that you have? Be happy to answer in the comments. So um, yeah, thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.